Hello everyone, I am Renown Zero, and today we're going to be talking about The Witcher creator, unenthusiastic when asked for his opinion on Netflix's live action series. It's pretty obvious as to why he is un unenthusiastic, because he knows that his books have been butchered with this show. There's barely any Witcher in the show, even though it's called The Witcher, and that's the drawing point of the show, which is Henry Cavill as The Witcher, as Geralt of Rivia, but obviously they didn't want to follow lore because that's what netflix does so we'll jump right into this article from bounty in the comics the witcher creator i don't know how to really say his first name sapkowski unenthusiastic when asked for his opinion on netflix's live action series it seems that the witcher creator himself was like fans unimpressed with netflix's live action and canon breaking attempt at adapting his work the popular novelist gave his opinion on the lackluster to say the least series while speaking to polish news outlet Digi during a recent appearance at the 2023 Taipei International Book Exhibition. For Twitter user Kathleen MMS321, who attended the event in person, when asked for his feelings towards Netflix's The Witcher, Sapkowski simply and blind blandly asserted, I've seen better, I've seen worse. Sapkowski's lethargic response comes as no surprise in light of Netflix's outright bastardization of his original books. Not only did the show's Lauren Schmidt Hissridge uh, led production team veer sharply from the spirit of his original story, particularly with the recent Blood Origin miniseries, but they also wasted the casting potential of noted with the Witcher fan Henry Cavill, who Sapkowski once praised as the definitive version of Geralt. So that's how you know you're doing it right. When the author of the book of the series you're adapting says you're the perfect fit, essentially. Quote, I was more than happy with Henry Cavill's appearance as The Witcher, the Polish author told People ahead of the Netflix series 2019 premiere. He's a real professional, just as Viggo Mortensen gave his face to Arag Ar Aragorn in The Lord of the Rings, so Henry gave his to Geralt and it shall be forever so. As of writing, Sikowski has yet to weigh in on the now former star's upcoming replacement as the White Wolf, Liam Hensworth. It's going to be shit, and no one's going to watch it. Admittedly... Sokowski's disappointment in the live action The Witcher is in some part his own fault as the author made it a point to completely separate himself from its production. In all adaptations, be it the first or last, I am never involved in its development, he told Portuguese website GP JPN in December 2019, 2018. Sorry. From my point of view, the book is the book and the adaptation is the adaptation, he explained. As Kipling said about East and West, this is East and West is West and the two will never meet. The adaptation and the original will never be found. Never. Adapters must be fitted. That's all I have to say about this because, as you know, may know, Netflix has signed a contract with me where it is explicitly listed that any production information I disclose will result in a severe financial penalty. So penalizing the guy for putting in any input about his series. That makes no sense. Sapkowski added, which is good for me because I do not know shit, so I cannot say anything. He would further declare Netflix has forgotten to include my personal opinion on the contract and my personal opinion is that I do not know and I, ne I will never want to know anything about the production. Which basically means you just gave away the rights to your property to a crappy streaming service. Which is what something, something you should not ever do. Lesson learned for aspiring creators. Make sure to not let Hollywood with your creation or else you'll see your vision burnt to the ground. So, yes, it is a lesson in... Hollywood, never give a crappy streaming service, or Hollywood in general, the ability to adapt your creation. If you want to adapt your creation, do it yourself. Fund it independently. I'm sure if Kapowski would have independently funded this and did this himself with Henry Cavill as Geralt of Rivia, I guarantee he would have raised enough money to make this production himself but instead he sells it off he sells the creative rights for the adaptation to netflix knowing damn well that netflix has a history of taking at a, taking established lore established creations and absolutely bastardizing and butchering anything that makes the show that they create anywhere close to the original source material they t essentially take the lore and they throw it in the garbage and say, we're going to do our own thing. And you should have learned from previous things that Netflix has adapted that they will completely take your lore and tell it all to go fuck itself.
Thank you all for checking out this video. I appreciate it. Appreciate the new subscribers, old subscribers, new new viewers, returning viewers. If you did like the video, hit the like button. Comment below your feelings about all this. Subscribe for more content. Hit the button notifications. Set it to all that we get notifications anytime I post a new video. And I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.